Hello there, thank you for joining me once again. And today's fly, I'm going to tie you up another quill winged wet fly. This is another old classic pattern, it's called the Yellow Sally. And I thought you might like to see this one tied tied up this time around, so we'll uh, get this one the vise, out of the vise, excuse me, and a fresh hook in, and I'll get going here. And the hook of choice. I thought I had but there's yeah, I found it. a 3399 standard wet fly hook must head and I'm tying them on a size 10 for you so get that locked down the vise here just like so and I'm using white thread I like to use white thread to start when I'm using uh, tying with floss bodies so first thing we'll do is get our thread base down so we'll start that right behind the eye same as always and Gradually work back to the bend of the hook. And we'll snip that tag end out of there. Okay, come back to about the barb. Yeah, this fly has a tinsel tag first thing. So I have a short piece of flat silver tinsel here in small size. So we'll tie that in on the far side of the hook there. Bind that down, three wraps. Now I'm going to wrap five wraps down and five wraps back on this tag. So there's two, three, four, and five. Then we'll come back up the same. Just like so here. Back that thread off. And we'll tie this guy off. Just watch your hook point and give that a few wraps there. I'll come in and trim that excess off. Okay. Now, the tail on this guy is two thin strips of goose quill, yellow goose quill, one from the left and one from the right side, and what I want, what you pretty much want to do is try to straddle that hook on top, just going to make sure I got them the right length that I want them, you want them about hook shank length, so just going to estimate that there, and then I'm going to set them on top, I'm going to come down, and pull straight up on them like so. Check those and see if they're where I want them. Okay, that looks fine for the tail. So now I'm going to wrap forward a couple wraps. Okay, that's about how you want them like that. Sort of a tent shape over the uh, over the top of the hook. Okay. Now I'm going to come in and trim those to uh, where I want my body to end. And I'm going to bind those down all the way up the shank here just to build a start building a thread base. Then we'll go back as well here. Okay. Now. So there's the tail. Okay, the rib is also small silver flat tinsel. So I'm going to get that tied in here. Tied in on the far side once again. Just want to check that, see how where it's going there. Alrighty, now stick that in the material clip out of the way, and I'm going to wrap all the way up here just to form a cover that up real good with the white thread as I go up. Alrighty, now I'm going to attach the uh, body, which is yellow floss. I have one strand of uni floss here. Now, with this guy, I'm going to tie him up front. 
catch him in there at the front of the hook just where you stopped your thread like so there okay I'm just gonna spin my bobbin here so I can catch that a little easier okay I want that to go down underneath so yeah, catch him in and snug that down with some nice tight wraps and I'll come in and snip that off nice and close there just like so alrighty now we begin to wrap our floss body I'll bring that down around and a couple wraps and just got to try to keep the floss as flat as you can and I'm overlapping each wrap slightly as I go down just like so here form the body and just watch your hook point because if you hit that the floss will fray really bad just keep that in mind as you go down and we're at the back of the hook I'm just checking to make sure that's where I want it here and it looks pretty good right there stick that back in the material clip okay and then we'll begin to wrap back up the shank okay same deal just slightly overlap each wrap as you go up and then we'll tie this guy off right here a couple wraps and I'm going to come in and snip him off nice and close okay a few wraps back there just like, just like so okay so so far we have our tag tail and body in now I'll take the rib here and I'm going to rib this guy up and I want to try to get five wraps to show so see if we can get five if you only get four it's okay it looks like this guy's gonna be four. I'm gonna tie that tinsel off there. Just like so. Okay, a couple more wraps there. Wrap right back on it nice and tight. Snip off the excess. Okay. Now we're ready to attach our hackle and I have a yellow hen hackle prepared here ready to tie in by the tip so tie this, tie this guy in here on the side on my side just like so and I'm going to come in and snip off tag into that guy nice and close just like so now we're going to wrap forward and we'll begin to wrap that hackle it's got a couple of fibers here I want to trim out there we go now I'll grab my hackle pliers grab a hold of that stem here and you got to be very careful with these just go as gentle as possible because they're very fragile hackles as we know just gonna easy like stroke those back and I like to get generally three to four turns on my wet flies so I'll come up on this guy and I'm gonna tie him off right there with a couple wraps tighten down release the pliers I'm come in and snip off that tag stem right there Okay. Now I've got one straight fiber there I want to trim out. Now what I want to try to do is push these down and back and more or less form a beard on the fly underneath. Try to keep them all pulled down and back. Okay, like so. That's pretty good there. Doesn't look too bad. Just get 
I'd like to see it down a little bit more than that, but. pretty good they're pretty much all down on the bottom there so that's what I was after but I'm gonna trim a few of these out on the top here and a couple on the bottom alrighty that's pretty good right there okay now I'm ready to mount the wing so the wing I have two yellow goose quill segments ready here and I got it right and left matched and ready to go and I measured these so they were almost the width of the hook gap that's how I measured these for this guy just want to make sure they're evened up at the tips there and you want that wing to come back this guy is probably a little past half on the tail so Send him on top of the hook here. Just like so here. Alrighty. Now just checking here for length. Looks pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna come up around. Come down. I'm just gonna grab the butt ends too and let that thread come down. Then I'm gonna pull down straight up as well back down once again and I'm going to check that for positioning and on top of the hook make sure it's right on top where I want it it actually looks good right there okay it's about how you want it right there the tail got a little bit of whack there but I can fix that straighten these wings up here there we go just checking for positioning that looks pretty good so I'm gonna come in and keep a hold of those wings snip off the excess here now what I want to do here is come in with some really nice tight wraps I'm working up covering up those wing butts really torque down on the thread as much as you can don't don't break it though okay now I got a couple unruly fibers there I'm gonna snip it right while I'm here there we go alrighty so that looks pretty good right on top where you want it okay got a nice beard on it on the fly so it looks pretty good there now this pattern called for a black head so I'm gonna take my black sharpie once again here and color up the thread hit on this guy here just wrap back alrighty so we're ready for the uh, whip finish let's cover that through a little more all right, bring in my whip finisher here and finish this guy up. And we'll do a four to five turn whip finish on him. That's fine. Okay, snug that down nice and tight. And we'll come in and snip that off. Alrighty, there we have it. 
another size 10 yellow Sally another old classic quill wing whip fly thought you might like to see another one of these tied up so I want to thank you all for watching once again I really appreciate that a lot and if you haven't subscribed yet you could hit that subscribe button and the like too if you wish I'd really appreciate appreciate that too as well and uh, until next time I want to wish everyone happy tying out there and I'll see you again soon and so long for now folks <laughs>